Hello everyone, Josh from Madrona Labs here, and this is the first video in my tutorial series for the plugin Alto. Alto is available as a VST and an AU plugin. It is only accessible inside of a host DAW. It will not work as a standalone application. If you are unsure of how to access plugins inside your DAW, please refer to your DAW's manual. In my host DAW, Ableton, I will open up Alto, and here is Alto's GUI. In this video, I will be going over the top header section here and the black patcher window. The first item in the header menu is your presets. And if you click on the presets, you get your preset menu options. The first section here is your saving options. The second section is your clipboard options. And what the clipboard does is it allows you to save your preset as a text file so that you can share it online in a forum or over email. The next section here are the factory presets developed by Madrona Labs. And the bottom here are some more presets developed by other Alto users. Alto's GUI is smoothly resizable. If you grab the bottom corner here, you can adjust the size of the GUI. If you drag it off screen, then you can revert it to its original size in the gear menu here by clicking Re Reset Editor Size. There are some more options in the gear menu. Uh, you can toggle the numbers next to the dials and you can toggle your animations. The animations are very useful for seeing the movement inside of Alto. Here's an animation down here. But they are very CPU intensive. So if you're having some CPU problems, I would recommend turning off the animations. And the bottom of the gear menu here are your MIDI and OSC options. To adjust the value of a dial in Alto, you can click on the dial and move it to that point and then drag up and down to adjust the value. If you want to adjust it from the point that it's currently at, just click right outside the dial and drag up or down. If you want to fine tune the dial, uh, shift click on it and then you'll be able to fine tune it. If you want to revert it to its original state or its original value, you can double click on the dial or you can command click on a Mac or right click on Windows. And it's worth noting at this point that there will be a different line in the animation for each voice. The final section that I will be going over is the black patcher window here. And the patcher is where a lot of the magic happens in Alto. It allows you to connect the modules together and create modulation paths. For this demonstration, I will connect the LFO module to the pitch parameter of the complex oscillator. And to do that, you simply go to one of these output sources. Those are the small circles in the patcher. Click on it and drag it over to an input attenuverter of a different module. So I've just connected LFO to the pitch parameter of the complex oscillator. This dial here, the attenuverter, determines the amount of modulation being let into this parameter. So this one is bipolar. Some of them are unipolar but bipolar means that I can move it in a positive or a negative direction here. And you can see that when I turn this up, the animation is showing that the pitch parameter is being modulated. And if I click a note, you can hear the movement in that pitch parameter. And that is how you make connections with the patcher. Thanks so much for watching, everyone.